Now you can notice on this dashboard we have different types of visualization available. For example, here you can see we have kind of bar chart and here you can see we have a different visualization. Here you can see we have a like line chart or histogram. Okay, so we are going to see how we can create all of these options one by one. So what we can do is we can open the menu and then we can click on dashboards and here you can see we have the dashboards which we saved and now we are not going to use this dashboard. We are going to click on new and then we are going to click on new dashboard. Here you can see we have option of add a visualization. So we are going to click on add visualization and now it is giving us an option of selecting a data source. Since right now we have only one data source, we can select that data source which is Prometheus. So right now you can see we are in dashboards, then under new dashboards we are in edit panel. So let me give you a quick overview of this edit panel as well. So you can see here we have panel, right now it is not having any data because we will need to form a query here in order to see the data. So so here you can see we have data sources so you can see we have prometheus but again you might have mysql so depending on which data source you select you are going to see a different query editor so what grafana has done is they have customized this query editor uh, to meet the need of a particular data source so that's the reason it makes it quite easy to form our queries now you have an option of uh, resizing this for example while you are working on the query you might want to keep the panel size smaller so you'll be able to do that from here now on the right hand side we have various options available for example you can see we have visualization so you can select whether you want time series bar chart stat so depending on the kind of visualization you need you can select one of the available options from here if you want to hide it you can just click on this arrow so it's going to hide that now let's say we have time series selected and let's also quickly create a query for example here you can see once we select prometheus as a data source we have an option of selecting a metric so let's say we want memory available so in prometheus we have a metric name called node memory mem available bytes so we can use this to see uh, how much memory is available right now so let's go ahead and click on select and then we can click on run queries okay so here once you click on run queries you can see memory available for both of these nodes now next to matrix you can also see label field filters so you can basically filter this for example let's say if you are interested only on certain host name in that case you can filter on instance so let's go ahead and let's say we are interested only on host name which is ending with 149 so let's go ahead apply a filter of instance and then we can select equal to uh, which is the by default here so we are just going to leave it as it is and then in the value we are going to select the one which is ending with 149 ip address and then we can click on run queries it is going to get refreshed so right now you can see memory utilization only for one node now if you want to add multiple nodes either you can remove this filter itself and then run it so you'll be able to see data for all the available nodes but if you want to let's say apply a filter and include only certain type of nodes or servers in that case you can select this equal to and tilt character filter so this is going to give you an option of selecting multiple items so for example in this case i can go ahead and select both the nodes and then click on run queries now this is quite useful when you are building a dashboard for certain groups for for example let's say you have application 1 and application 1 is deployed on 5 servers and you might want to limit uh, this dashboard to show data only for those 5 servers so in that case you can apply this filter and select those 5 servers which are responsible for a certain type of application and then this panel is going to be basically specific for those 5 servers now the other thing here is you can see that on the x-axis we have time frame because we have selected a time series. So time series is basically going to give us data over a period of time. Now just below that you can see we have legend and in the legend you can see we have quite a lot of information being shown. Now you might not be interested in all of these because we know that this panel is about memory utilization. So uh, showing this label like node memory mem available bytes or showing the job name doesn't really quite make sense. So what we can do is we can come here to the query and then in the options we have an option of legend. So here you can go ahead and change it from auto you can go ahead and change it to custom. Now once you select legend we can you can see we have double curly 
braces then we have label underscore name and then we have closing uh, double curly braces now in the label name you can provide the name of the label which you want to see here so here you can see we have curly braces and inside curly braces we have label name and value so here you can see we have a label called underscore underscore name underscore underscore and then we have instance and then we have third label which is job so in this case we are interested in label name which is called instance so I'm just going to go ahead remove label underscore name and type instance here now once you do that it is going to get auto refreshed and you can see now we are seeing only the server names here now of course we can also perform other operations like maybe aggregations so in that case let's say we can do aggregations and get the sum minimum or average utilization but in this case we are going to stick only to this detail and now let's see how we can make this uh, pen a little more interesting so first of all you can see we do not have any panel title so what I'm going to do is here on the right hand side you can see we have panel options which is right now collapsed so I'm just going to expand it and you can see whatever title which you give here is going to be shown here so I'm just going to call it available memory bytes or let's call it available memory and once you click on somewhere else this is going to get updated now here we have an option of keeping the background as transparent so if I select that you can see our background is changed so that's the only option we need as of now from panel options next option is tooltip now notice when I move my cursor here on the data point we see some information here and right now you can see we are seeing the information only about one server which is the one ending with IP address of 197 now just in case if you want data to be shown for all the lines in that case you can just select all so now if I move my cursor here you can see we are able to see data for both the servers and of course for certain scenarios if you want to hide the tooltip you can just go ahead and make it hidden so in that case if you are hovering your mouse over it you are not going to see any tooltip I generally like to keep tooltip mode to single so that's what I'm going to leave it to now and then we can move on to legend so in the legend you can see whether you want to see the legend or hide it if I don't want to see the legends then I can just go ahead and hide it and you can see now we do not have any legend available here on the x-axis I'm just going to enable it for now now let's say if you want to move the placement of this legend maybe from bottom to the right hand side you can do that from here so here you can see we have placement so just go ahead click on right and you can see the placement of this has changed now in this case I'm just going to leave it back to bottom and then here you can see it is being shown in a list mode if you want to change it to table mode you can just select table and in that case it is going to be shown in a tabular format generally I like to keep it to table mode because I would also like to see what was the last utilization or what was the average utilization in that case we can keep it to table and here in the values we can select for example let's say average or it's called mean I guess yeah you can see we have mean option and then we can also see uh, let's say last utilization so it is basically telling you what was the average utilization and this is telling you what was the utilization when the last time data was polled using Prometheus now let's see axis axis is of course is going to give you the ability to change information about axis now this is something which probably we don't need as of now we are going to see it later on now one thing which we need to change here is you can see we are not seeing the data in G so you can see this is showing by default data in bytes so we need to go to standard options and here we will need to change the unit so I'm just going to type bytes here and I'm going to select data bytes IEC format now you can see we have utilization data available in MB and GB which is quite useful now please notice here is that Grafana depending on the size of the panel is going to show different values available on the left hand side because it is set on auto mode for example here you can see on axis we have everything set on on auto so Grafana is going to make adjustment and going to show only limited amount of data if the space is less for example let's say if I resize it and make it smaller now you can see we have information available only at gigabyte level if I make it bit larger you can see we have information available at MB level as well now one option which we skipped is graph styles so you can decide what is the style of the graph which you want to see for example right now you can see we have selected lines if I want to change it to bars this is how it is going to look like if I change it to points this is how it is going to look like uh, typically you can keep it to lines and you can decide what is the line width which you want to keep so in this case line width of one looks okay so I'm just going to leave it as it is also you can handle the opacity by using this fill opacity option 
so this one looks okay i'm just going to leave it at this i'm just going to leave it at 10 and then we also have option of gradient mode which is set to none if you want you can just play around uh, change it to hue or you can decide if you want to keep it at opacity okay so this is mostly to do with the visualization which you are seeing here again this is something which is uh, subject to how you want to visualize the data so i'm just going to leave it to you please feel free to explore all the available options here for now i'm just going to collapse it and we are going to move on to data links now data links are useful when we want to move from one dashboard to another dashboard for example Let's say we have a dashboard which is showing us high level of uh, summary about all the server's health and then we want to drill down to let's say detail of any particular server so in that case we are going to create data links but in our current scenario we don't need data links option so we are just going to leave it as it is value mapping is going to be useful in certain situations so i'm just going to leave it for now but in our next example probably we are going to see this as well and then we have an option of setting thresholds so for now we are not going to talk about threshold so now whatever option which you set here it is going to be applied to everything which is available here now in certain situation you may want a fine grained control for example let's say in this case you may want to change value only for uh, one of the host names so in that case you will have to perform overrides and that is the reason we have this option of overrides available as well so we are going to use these overrides as well later on but for now i think we are quite good so we are just going to click on save and going to save it now this is asking you what is the name of the dashboard which you want to give now let's go ahead and give it name of grafana demo and we are going to save it in dashboards folder so now let's go ahead click on save and you can see we have our dashboard ready and this dashboard is called grafana demo dashboard now here you can see we have option of starring if i click on mark as favorite so here you can see under the start we are going to see that particular dashboard now if you want to see all the available dashboards you can click on dashboards and you can see we have two available dashboards and under the start section we have only the dashboards which we have pinned or bookmarked